what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Mariah Shantice and today in this video we did this hold on wait what am I talking about and today in this video I'm gonna be telling y'all how to snatch back snap back snap back snatch back <laughs> how to snap back after you had a baby okay because all y'all seem to think that I snapped back after I had my baby and I mean I did snap back but it was some things that I did to help the snap back process okay so I'm gonna share those tips with y'all first tip is if you're not subscribed to my channel then go ahead and subscribe right now second tip is like this video third tip is turn on my post notifications so that you never miss a new video in the future and yeah let's get right into this so first things first when I had my son after I had him they gave me this belly wrap thing so it was basically a big stretchy wrap big stretchy yeah wrap and I used that immediately after I had him I never took it off I left it on 24 hours a day besides when I took a shower of course but as soon as I get out of the shower I put that back on I wrapped it as tight as it can go and I just was in that motherfucker squished up okay so that's the first tip i can give y'all second tip i waist trained so after the while that little belly wrap got loose it started to get loose i don't know if it was because my i was losing weight and my waist was shrinking or if it was because it just started to stretch out so i ordered these waist trainers off amazon i have one on right now so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like basically it's just these as you can see this waist trainer was used after I had my son, I had little chunks on me. So now this is loose as fuck. I would never use this one again. I need to get a smaller, smaller one. Because this one is just doesn't fit and there's no purpose. Actually, it's, it's making me look bigger now that I got this on. But anyways, I'm going to show y'all. So this waist trainer, I got, um, I got this off of Amazon. I forgot how much it was. But basically, this is how it looks. Uh... It doesn't really do anything. It's making me look big because, like I said, it doesn't fit me anymore. It's way too loose. You want to get one that's really, really tight, like, sucking you in, like, it should be doing like this, you know, but without the wrinkles. So, yeah, this is the one that I use. I got it off of Amazon, and I love it so much. I used to wear this 24 hours a day. I slept in it. I wore it religiously, and it also... um. These waist trainers and stuff like that also help not only to waist train and to train your waist to have that nice curvy figure, but also to limit your eating. Um, when you have your stomach compressed, it's actually, I don't know the science behind it, but it actually makes you eat less. So if you wear these while you eat, then you're going to lose weight because you're not going to be eating that much. You're going to eat small portions and then you take it off, you're going to be hungry as fuck. I'm just saying. But uh, yeah. Third tip third tip I think yeah third breastfeeding I breastfed my son 100% breastfed um for two years well basically his birthday is January 7th on Monday this coming Monday and I breastfed him all the way up until but he was 22 months I stopped breastfeeding him last month or two months ago Anyways, I stopped breastfeeding him recently, so basically I breastfed him for two years, and that helps tremendously with losing weight, losing your baby fat, your baby weight. Um, when I had him, I was one, when I went home, I was 190 something, only because I gained a lot of weight after I had him from water weight, and I was swollen, and if you, you watching this, so you had a baby, and you know, if after you had your kid, you'd be swollen, your nose is big, you just you're just big all in all so i was 190 something so breastfeeding helped tremendously the pounds the pounds was just going and going and going and going before i had my son i was doing a green juice diet cleanse thing so i lost weight before i knew i was pregnant which was a lifesaver so that that took away some of the the weight i was going to add that was that gave me a little room to gain weight okay <laughs> so when i first got pregnant i was 130 eight i believe 137 uh after i had him like i said i was 190 something now i'm 147 so 147 that's a cool way for me uh at this point all i really want to do is tone up and you know get a boob job <laughs> because breastfeeding uh 
ruined my boobies now they're like a negative a and they're just not cute but anyways that's beyond the point uh so yeah like now i'm 147 and the waist training helped a lot so i didn't really do nothing extreme with my waist training besides wearing it all day besides when i shower i wore it when i when i was sleeping everything so um i know some people do the saran wrap and then they work out in it and all that i didn't do none of that so i can imagine if you do that i'm pretty sure you'll have even better results so I'm gonna show y'all this waist trainer again. Wear this underneath your clothes too. Basically just tuck it into your pants like so. You won't even be able to really tell you have it on underneath. But yeah, um, these are just some tips that I did to snatch back after having my baby. And hopefully if you are a new mom, these tips can work for you as well. Congratulations if you just had a baby, girl. You gonna snap back, trust me. It don't happen over time. Social media tends to trick us and make us think that you supposed to just snap back and look all good and not have stretch marks and not have loose skin and not have saggy boobies, but that's not true. That's unrealistic. Don't even look at my pictures and think that I should just snap back because people think that because I didn't even post pictures. I didn't even post pictures when I had him. So of course, three months go by, two months go by and I post a picture. It's gonna look like I snapped back because y'all didn't see me when I was fat and ugly. But I got the videos though for myself. Whew, I was ugly, but this happens. It's life. It's a circle of life. It's what happens when you're pregnant. It's what happens when you bring life into the world. So it is what it is. You will snap back and you will be bomb as fuck. Okay? So try out some of these tips, you guys. Like I said, you can get this waist trainer off of Amazon. Uh, make sure you breastfeed your kids if you can because that is always super great for losing weight Because you know everything you eat you're burning all them calories. So you basically ain't even eat no calories But since I started breastfeeding like that was one of my biggest fears like oh no My calories are gonna count now. No Oh and drink a lot of water too. Drink a lot of water lemon water. Yeah lemon water Cucumber water, detox waters, those type of waters, they so good. Do that. Oh, how could I forget? How could I forget? Okay, I did the Atkins diet. So, I'm not telling you to do the Atkins diet because I know there's a wide range of opinions on it. It's good or it's bad or it's this and that. I'm just giving you my tips. I'm just telling you what I did and what worked for me. So, I did the low-carb Atkins diet. Basically, that diet is where you just eat. Basically, you just eat meat. It's like, don't even feel like a diet. Like, it's crazy. You gonna think it don't work. And you're gonna be like, what the fuck? That don't make sense. I'm not doing it. But trust me, it works. Like, basically, you just eat meat, vegetables, and that's it. The more meat, I feel like the more meat and vegetables that you eat, the more weight you lose. So, it's basically like a diet where you can eat as much as you want. You just can't eat bread. You can't eat sugar. You can't eat sweets. You can't eat stuff like that. But you can eat meat. Any type of way, like, you can't eat fried stuff either. So, you can eat baked chicken, uh, grilled chicken, baked beans. Well, not beans. You can't eat beans. You can eat baked, baked stuff, grilled stuff, everything besides fried stuff. You can eat vegetables, broccoli, da da You can eat a little bit of cheese on it. You can eat sausage. You can eat hot sauce. Like, them Atkins meals that I was cooking, they was good as fuck. Like, if you can figure it out and figure out the recipes and the little meals you can eat, like some asparagus with some like some steak and some broccoli and you know the, the Atkins diet don't even fuck like a diet so make sure you search the Atkins diet I dead ass not I'm not playing I lost 10 pounds in a week 20 pounds in two weeks I'm not kidding but the thing is when you do the Atkins diet don't quote me on this because I'm not a professional I'm just saying it will work for me in the beginning if you look at the weight if you look at the scale three days four days later and you lost 10 pounds don't just give up and be like okay i lost 10 pounds that's it because in the beginning of the atkins diet you're mace you're mo look, you're mainly going to be losing water weight so that weight is not going to matter and as soon as you get off the atkins diet and you eat a jelly bean you're gonna gain all that weight back so don't stop when you see the weight dropped off you got to keep going so with me if i was to do the atkins diet i did the atkins diet plenty of times throughout my life with me what i figured out is basically once i reach reach like I done lost like 35 pounds, 30 pounds. Then it's cool. Don't jump right into just eating junk food. Slowly build your stuff back, but you have to continue to eat healthy. You can't just be like, I lost weight, this and this, because you're going to gain it back. But yeah, once you lose like 35 pounds or whatever, and then you get off the Atkins diet, you'll see that you actually probably lost like 
25 so just automatically assume that 10 or 15 of those pounds is going to be water weight so yeah that's the only thing but that diet is that's like if you want to know a magic diet or like a miracle diet or you searching like how to lose weight super fast i'm gonna tell you right now the Atkins diet that's that magical diet that's that magical pill like it's not a pill but that's that's it so do that at your own risk do your research all that stuff but it worked for me like that was how i got off those extra stubborn pounds at the end of after i lost all my weight naturally by just breastfeeding and stuff and i couldn't get rid of that last 20 25 pounds i can diet knocked it off no working out you don't even have to work out but if you work out i mean that's probably a plus or something but you don't have to work out you can literally just lay down and eat meat and vegetables all day and you'll be losing a lot of weight trust me but anyways that wraps up this video if you like what i said and you're gonna do what i said or you did what i said or you just watch what i said and you like my makeup or something or you like my hair or you like me maybe i don't know <laughs> then go ahead and like this video comment subscribe turn on my post notifications so that you never miss a new video from me and what else uh yeah subscribe if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so so much for watching and bye bye